First up, a report from Somerville Neighborhood News Director Jane Regan. As you know, the immigration reform bill is stalled these days in Washington, but that doesn't mean immigrants and their allies in Somerville are standing still. Almost a thousand supporters of immigration reform marched in downtown Boston on October 5th. It was one of about a hundred marches across the country that day. We are here to push for immigration reform because it's very necessary that most of the 11 immigrant undocumented here need to get something to legalize them. There are over 40 million immigrants in the United States. About 11 million are undocumented. The U.S. government deports over 1,000 immigrants a day under a program called Secure Communities. Over half of those deported are not criminals, but authorities send them back no matter how many years they have been in the USA. Deportations have doubled under President Barack Obama. Studies have shown that the program is creating distrust between police departments and communities. In Massachusetts, lawmakers have proposed a bill that aims to keep police officers from becoming immigration officers. It's called the Trust Act, and it's supported by three of Somerville's elected officials. How Massachusetts implements and administers this, this very vague and um, potentially destructive uh, secure communities program has enormous impacts for public safety. Mayor Joe Curtitoni also supports the bill. The Trust Act will keep families together, strengthening the bonds of our community and addressing problems of education and public safety in a smart, holistic way. Somerville's Centro Presente says the bill would correct problems caused by secure communities. Secure Community is a program that, according to the federal government, is to identify, detain, and deport undocumented immigrants that are a threat for the United States' safety. From here, from Massachusetts, 90, 995 people have been deported. From those, 54 percent haven't committed any crime. And then we have some people that have committed minor crime, but they ended up in deportation procedure. So. We feel that the Secure Community Program is not working. Instead, it's just breaking the trust. Police officers and police departments locally here in Somerville and some of the cities in, in the state of Massachusetts have been working so hard to make sure they can get engaged with the community, with the immigrant community. But what happened with this type of program, like Secure Community, is that there is untrust. So uh, there are many police officers who are saying, well, we don't want to implement Secure Community because people are afraid of us. So if there is an undocumented immigrant who sees somebody committing a crime, they feel afraid to give us a call or they feel afraid to get in contact with us because they believe we're going to grab them and hand it over to immigration and they will end up in the deportation procedure. Both California and Connecticut have adopted their own trust acts. So far, the only group in the state to voice opposition is the Chiefs of Police Association. Immigration issue is local here in Somerville. You can walk on broadways and see so many businesses that are Latino businesses. Those businesses are not only supported for citizens, United States citizens, but also for many undocumented immigrants. So undocumented immigrants are part of our life. Muchos de los inmigrantes que viven en Somerville son indocumentados. Necesitamos que ellos tengan un estatus lugar para hacer la ciudad de Somerville una de las ciudades más progresistas, digamos, en, en Massachusetts, porque vamos a tener una diversidad cultural que enriquece y que hace diferente la ciudad de Somerville. People and organizations were here in downtown Boston, along with hundreds of people from across the state. What were they asking for? Immigration reform and a halt to deportations. Reporting from downtown Boston for Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Jane Regan. This law could be really important for our community, where about a third of our families include recent immigrants.